This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. For months now, UC Berkeley student athletes have been practicing their plays in temporary fields, hoping that before too long they'll get to return to Memorial Stadium. It's been a long wait since 1997 when the stadium was determined unsafe in the case of a major earthquake. The bowl sits directly on top of the Hayward Fault. The retrofit plan includes a major renovation and a new high performance center for athletes from 13 different sports. It prompted legal challenges and protests, but courts approved the project and it's now well underway. Having a new stadium for fans to be excited about, you know, you have people willing, willing to come out and support you, so I'm very excited to see what that season will bring. To help get the job done right, the university relies very much on its own professors and graduates. Cal experts in earthquake science are reviewing the designs, and Cal alumni hold key positions in the architectural and engineering firms building the stadium. Personally, this is the most satisfying project I've ever worked on. It's not only the series of, of issues we had to solve in order to, to complete it, but it's my alma mater. Campus officials were adamant about keeping the original look of the 1923 stadium. Designed by John Galen Howard, it was modeled after the Roman Colosseum. But even more important than the look is the safety of hundreds of players and staff who will use the facilities daily. David Friedman and Rene Vigneault are structural engineers on the project. The east side, it's literally carved into the, into the hillside. So essentially, we have absolutely no seismic concerns, structural concerns about this entire East Bowl. It was always the West Bowl. The stadium has already sustained damage over the years from the ground moving underneath it. New solutions were found with the help of the Seismic Review Committee, a team of Berkeley scientists appointed by the Chancellor that reviews all designs for major construction and retrofit projects on campus, focusing on how they'll hold up during earthquakes. I mean, we were trying to do things here that had never been done before. The Seismic Review Committee really a de facto was a member of the design team, and we have some of the greatest earthquake engineers earthquake scientists in the world sitting on our seismic review committee. We take this very seriously. One of our duties as a professor is to do service. We, we teach, we do research, but we do service to the community, we do service to the campus, we do service to the, the state and to the nation. And so it's an honor to take your expertise in earthquake engineering and to use that to make sure that the campus and the state is, are getting the best designs for their money. We had very specific uh, impacts uh, in, in helping come up with the ideas about uh, putting seismic joints in the building and where to put those joints. If the ground is going to move beneath your feet, the best thing to do is not to be anchored on both sides of it, but to actually have some flexibility and allow it to move underneath you without the rupture tearing your structure apart. To create that flexibility, the engineers designed the north and south ends of the stadium as independent blocks, not anchored to the ground. We're actually standing on top of one of these seismic rupture blocks. So this entire building is sitting on a four-foot mat of concrete. Underneath that are layers of sand and high-density plastic. Those allow this entire piece of the building to shift without getting hung up on the ground. In between the blocks and the other parts of the stadium are panels of lightweight styrofoam. This is just a placeholder. All this does is keep the joint open so that when the earthquake comes, this will just compress and the entire building can move as it wants to. A striking new feature of the stadium is its press box. It's be a two-level press box with a press function and then a luxury suite above that. This press box will be supported on top of the core walls that you see here and we've connected those with large shock absorbers to the rest of the structure. So this entire thing can rock back and forth inside of the stadium. Next door is the Student Athlete High Performance Center with state-of-the-art locker rooms, training and rehab areas, staff offices and meeting rooms. It's 145,000 square feet, a huge change from the previous cramped quarters. We put it in the ground, so the top of the two-story building is really an acre and a half grand plaza. People look at the building and they say, well, where's the Student Athlete Center? And we say, well, you're standing on it. 
the improved facilities uh, give all of our student athletes, number one, cutting edge science uh, that, uh, that can give them a better opportunity um, to perform at a very high level and also be more efficient and effective with their time. For alumni, it serves as probably the most visible connection point back to the campus. And a renovated Memorial Stadium really heightens that experience. It'll really feel good once we finally get everything done and we're actually coming through that tunnel, you know, preparing to play in the what, 2012 season. The Memorial Stadium, this is going to be in the textbooks. It, it's unique. Uh, nobody's tried this before. And the solution is a marvelous one that uh, everyone's going to want to know about. From California Memorial Stadium, this is Roxanne Makashjian.